Today I'm gonna to share with you a secret that's gonna make the man you're seeing want you even more and a story that's gonna melt your heart. You are going to love this. Check it out. Hey there, I'm Matt Boggs and I'm the founder of the Love and Relationships Division of the Brave Thinking Institute where our mission is empowering people to create and live a life they love. And that includes your love life. So if you like this video, click the subscribe button and the little bell, and that way you're able to get the videos that we put out every week to empower you in your love life. And so today we're talking about the secret that you can do to increase his desire for you. And I wanna share with you a story that's going to, I believe, really impact your heart. And the story comes from a woman who sent me an email and she saw a video that I had done several years ago from a woman named Linda. Now, when Linda signed up for a program that I do called Manifest Your Man, Linda had been single for 10 years. She had been online dating for I think seven of those years and just having no results at all. She was in her 50s and really, really wanted a relationship for herself and was just struggling. And so she was gonna sign up for the program, but she had been saving up money for a new car because her existing car was old, it had a ton of miles, it was kind of breaking down. And she knew that she, if she was gonna sign up for the program, she would need to use some of the money for that car for this program and it would delay her getting the new car that she wanted. And so she asked herself a question. She said, well, do I want a man riding in my older, junkier car or do I want a new car but to be by myself? She said, I would rather have my man in an older, junkier car. So she signed up for the program, and here's the cool part. She manifested an amazing guy named Jim. The two of them fell in love. Jim proposed, but during the process of the program, Linda developed a sense of self-esteem, a new sense of worth, a new sense of confidence, such that the career that she was in, which was sales, skyrocketed she her success increased and she was actually able to increase her income to the degree that she was able to get the new car anyways so here Linda is in a new car with her new man living a life she loves so I created a video with Linda and Jim telling that story and a client of mine named Taline in Paris saw that video and had connected with Linda and decided to write Linda this story and so Celine writes into Linda, Dear Linda, it's been a while since we've talked last, and Matt's last video was the perfect opportunity to write you. I was so happy to see you and virtually meet your fiance. You looked absolutely radiant, glowing with love. Hearing how you changed one little thing and how you approached relationships inspired me to take action. These last couple of months have been brutal for me. I met a wonderful man shortly after I did the program, but he ghosted me a few weeks after dating, which didn't help my self-esteem either. Looking back at my recent dating stories, I decided to change one little thing after seeing your video. I noticed I tend to observe the men I date so I can tick boxes based on what's important to me. And in doing that, I tend to focus on what's lacking. The reason is that I do that with myself. I focus on my shortcomings, on where I'm not performing at my best. Perhaps you feel this same way. I know that this was part of my journey, that when I focused on my shortcomings, where I'm not perfect, where I'm lacking, that puts me in a vibration of lack. Not only that, but it puts me in a vibration of judgment. Talene goes on to say, this is frustrating and puts me in the wrong kind of vibration. So tonight, I'm going on a date, and I decided that I will let go of the rational thinking of ticking boxes, and will instead focus on how that man makes me feel what he brings to my emotional being. Hopefully this little change can do wonders for me. Again, congratulations to you two. I'm over the moon for you. With love, Talene. Talene sent this email to Linda in October. And about a year later, Talene writes me this email here. And she says, hey Matt, over a year ago I reached out to your team to join Manifest Your Man. I had many hopes and dreams for the program. I graduated in July, and in October, I met an incredible man. The kind of man whose attention and kindness I've always craved, but never imagined for me. I am very grateful to have met Ben, and we're very fond of each other. 
We met each other's families and the relationship feels incredibly mature compared to what I've experienced in the past. A very sincere thank you for this program. It's been a tremendous confidence booster and not only supported me in my love life, but it taught me to love myself truly. I used to see self-love as either a form of loose acceptance or expression of selfishness. Let me share that again. She either saw self-love as a loose form of acceptance or an expression of selfishness. And I think those are two misnomers or fallacies that we often get sucked into is that self-love means it's selfish. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Talene goes on to say, but I've grown to understand that self-love can be a beautiful thing and is the template to all other forms of love. Many, many thanks and warm wishes from Paris, Talene. And Talene just recently sent me a photo of her and Ben with their brand new six month old baby girl. And Talene is living a life that she loves. And it started by her making this one small shift. And that was to stop ticking boxes, to stop looking at what's missing in him. And actually the way to do that is to first stop looking at what was missing in herself. What a powerful insight. Stop looking at what's missing in us. When you begin to accept yourself for who you are, the parts of you that you love and the parts of you that are hard to love, the parts of you that may have resistance in loving, when you love those places in you, then you form this vibration of self-love and acceptance. And here's what's beautiful. Every one of us as human beings have a desire to be accepted for who we really are. When you are in a vibration of acceptance, that gives your man the sense of freedom that he knows that he could be who he really is and be accepted. You wanna know one thing men desire? Men desire that feeling of freedom. Men desire that feeling of self-acceptance the same way that you and I do. Every one of us desires that. And so when you give that to yourself first and then come with that vibration of self-love, self-acceptance, that is magnetic for a man. And so one quick practice to increase the self-love and self-acceptance is to today ask yourself, what in me needs my self-love right now? And do a little body scan and an emotional scan and say, hmm, what in me needs my self-love and self-acceptance right now? And notice what speaks to you and wrap that part of you in self-love and self-acceptance. And you do that on a daily basis, your own self-love will increase. And as Talene said, that self-love is the basis for all other forms of love. Now, if you would love some support with this, I'm gonna put a link to the Manifest Your Man program next to this video. It is a phenomenal program that not only takes your self-love to deeper levels and raises your confidence, but gives you a whole set of skills for how to empower you in your love life. Click that link, you can discover what that program's all about, and if it feels right for you, it would be a privilege to serve you on your journey of love. My question for you is, what in you needs your love and acceptance right now? Go ahead and notice that. Post that in the comment section below and together we will create a community of love and acceptance right here under this video. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.